Peace be with you. Welcome to our home. I'm Deacon Philip Jackson here with my wife, Carla. Today is Divine Mercy Sunday, and we hear in the gospel that our Lord greeted his disciples with peace be with you. He does so because he knows that his disciples are afraid. They are locked in a small room, afraid to go outside for fear of the Jews. Does this sound familiar? Here we are in our homes, not going out, not out of fear, but out of precaution due to this global pandemic. Our Lord greets us today, just as he did the disciples 2000 years ago. Peace be with you. In this greeting of peace, our Lord transforms their fear into joy and breathes into them the Holy Spirit, empowering his disciples to go out into the world to share his mission of forgiveness, love, and mercy. When Jesus asked Thomas to put his fingers into his wounds, we hear Thomas's exuberant proclamation, my Lord and my God. And our Lord asked him a gentle question. Have you come to believe because you have seen me? What he says next to Thomas, he also says to us 2000 years later in a statement of hope. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. What does it mean to be those who believe? Normally it means that we worship together, that we spend time together living in communion as the body of Christ. I work as the liturgy director at St. Ignatius. As we were preparing for a live stream mass, Father Norbert and I walked into the chapel and he said something to me that really made me think. He said, it teaches you what's really important. What's really important, that's what we want to keep. We want to keep that desire we're experiencing to be together as a family in Christ. We want to keep really tuning in when we have the opportunity to worship, putting busyness aside and really listening to Christ speaking to us, really seeing Christ in those present with us. We want to keep taking time for prayer stopping during the workday to thank God, to pray for one another, and to reflect on God's will for us. We want to keep reaching out to our family, friends, and neighbors, checking on them and letting them know how much we love them. We want to keep limiting our consumption of things that distract us, to consume good things and not be wasteful, caring about our planet, and all our fellow citizens who inhabit it. We want to keep helping others along, practicing love of God and love of neighbor. Family, we are a resurrection people. What makes this period of isolation at home and social distancing so difficult is that we feel separated from each other and the church. But what we are experiencing is what the early Christians experienced nearly 2000 years ago. We realize that we are church. We are the domestic church. We are gathering in our homes, praying together, much like those in the first century church. On this Divine Mercy Sunday, perhaps we can follow our Lord's instruction of being sent into the world. We can use those tools available to go beyond locked doors, using our telephones and social media to reach out to others. This Divine Mercy Sunday might be a day to reach out to those who have hurt us in some way, to allow the Paschal mystery that lives in each one of us to convey God's divine mercy. We want to keep trusting in God and expressing that trust as we do on this Divine Mercy Sunday. Sister Faustina shares with us the ABCs of mercy, A, for ask for his mercy. God wants to pour out his mercy on us and the whole world. B, be merciful. God wants us to receive his mercy and let it flow through us to others. C, completely trust in God. God wants us to know that his graces and his mercy are dependent upon our trust. The more we trust in Jesus, the more we will receive. Jesus, I trust in you. Peace be with you. Amen.